Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. In today's video, we will be talking about variable frequency drives. We will cover the working principle as well as components and uses. This video is a continuation in the Motor Control and Systems series. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend watching those before continuing this video. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's get started. Variable frequency drives, also known as variable speed drives, adjustable speed drive, AC drive, inverter, and a couple other related names, are devices that are used to control the speed, torque, and direction of an AC induction motor. They generally consist of an AC motor, a controller, and an operator interface. It takes fixed voltage and frequency AC input and converts it into a variable voltage and frequency AC output. The example provided is that of a simplified diagram of a VFD controller. The operation is as follows. The converter, composed of six diodes, which are used to allow current to flow in only one direction, rectifies the incoming AC power and converts it into DC. The DC filter, or DC link slash DC bus, connects the rectifier output to the input of the converter. The DC bus functions as a filter in order to smooth the uneven rippled output to ensure that the rectified output is as close to pure DC. The inverter takes the filter DC from the DC bus and converts it into a pulsating AC waveform. Controlling the output of the inverter, the pulsating AC waveform can simulate an AC sine wave at different frequencies. A control system is incorporated to control the output voltage being fed to the motor and to maintain a constant ratio to voltage to frequency. It consists of an electronic circuit which receives feedback information from the driven motor and adjusts the output voltage or frequency to the desired values. Variable frequency drives offer an alternative to other forms of power conversions in places where three phase power cannot be supplied. Since it converts incoming AC power into DC, the VFD doesn't care if its source is single or three phase since the output power will always be three phase power. The key to this process is the rectification of the AC input to a DC output. At the rectification point, the DC voltage has no phase characteristics. The VFD is simply producing a filtered, pulsating DC waveform, and the drive inverts the DC waveform into three phase pulse width modulated waveform signatures that duplicate an AC three phase waveform. A few reasons to use a VFD is to save energy and improve system efficiency, match speed output requirements, match torque or power output requirements, and many more. Many of these drives can be found in industrial environments, wastewater treatment, machine tool drives, ventilation systems, and much more. This concludes the video over variable frequency drives. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at contactors. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.